Hey guys, uh, the GM3 Beamaster, hey, he's a good guy. Uh, just make sure that you treat him with respect. I'm gonna go ahead and head out for a little bit. I'm just gonna go uh, out in town, so I'll be right back. But make sure you go ahead and welcome to the family and everything. And hey, he may be a GM, but he's family. All right, hey, and one more. Wow, yeah, just couldn't go ahead and give him a break, huh? Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I have the GM3 Beam Master from Gundam Build Divers. So, we're going to go ahead and do this pose video, and like always, we're going to do this in three different poses, um, utilizing what comes in the box, nothing extra, nothing from different sources, just what comes in the box as far as weaponry. Um, so, for the first, first pose, uh, I'm going to just util utilize the Beam Saber, so let's go ahead and pull off a nice little pose. Okay, so uh, I know I didn't uh, take off the missile pods uh, right here, as well as the little, uh, well, the missile pods and then the uh, rocket launchers, um, or rockets, whatever they were, uh, down here. Um, but I didn't take them off when I was doing the poses, but I remembered in the, um, in the anime, pretty much uh, whenever he did pull, I think it was the fourth episode actually, which I need to go ahead and uh, discuss, but uh, whenever he launched the, uh, the little missiles from the pods, um, he basically like, you know, detach them so that way he has lesser weight to go ahead and move, uh, maneuver around with. Um, so I, this is kind of like the idea I had as, you know, once he's, you know, pretty much used up all of his weapons, um, you know, even though he has like the little binders right here, but like all the other weapons, once he's utilized all those and he's just out of resources, um, he's just going to go ahead and detach them and then start dashing. Um, and to my knowledge, these are still thrusters right here. Um, I would have to look and see in the uh, the manual, but I'm fairly certain that um, these things are actually thrusters as well as a beam weapon. Um, so I'll, I'll just have to go ahead and research that. But um, yeah, for you know for the whole slashing, dashing, or slicing poses, um, the dashing one definitely to me looks a little bit nice. Uh, well, nicer than what other ones like maybe the slashing or uh, maybe with uh, any other kind of like stylish beam saber poses. I just, I like the dashes with the GM and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep it like this. But without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to the second pose. Okay, and here is the second pose. Uh, so I was just thinking like, you know, I want him to use the uh, changeling rifle in some way, shape, or form. And I was thinking like, maybe if he's uh, kind of like, you know, shooting, but also kind of like being forced, you know, back. Uh, so like if he's getting like heavy bombardment and he doesn't want to stay in one position, uh, maybe just taking some steps back and, you know, kind of using his uh, leg thrusters to kind of push him backwards and simultaneously uh, delivering, a, delivering an offense uh, with a changeling, uh, changeling rifle. I was just thinking that this is kind of like the image I had in mind. Uh, so with that, uh, I mean, if you like this, definitely go ahead and utilize it. Um, it could definitely be used on the ground and not on uh, a stand because uh, I, this kit, yeah, to my knowledge, this kit does not come with a stand. Um, but if you just really want this one to be on a stand, vice uh, any other kits that you might have, or you just want to go out and purchase one uh, exclusively for this kit, uh, then this is kind of like a pretty neat pose you can go ahead and utilize with the changeling rifle. So with that, let's go ahead and move, move on to the third and final pose. Okay, so this this pose kind of gave me uh, some issues 
because these uh, binders are really, really difficult to pose with the hands like attached to them. Um, I mean, obviously it's definitely doable, uh, but the like the shoulders, I had to take the missile pods off um, because they were just like, they were just so big and bulky that it kind of like, I don't know, it, it really distracted from what I was trying to do as far as the pose. So in the end, I took those off and the feet positioning, um, you could you could either do it, you know, with both feet kind of coming outwards or you can kind of do it, you know, kind of like one's kind of bent, the other one's uh, sticking straight out. It's really up to you uh, how you want to do it, but uh, I kind of just ultimately stuck with this. Now, I did try to move these into different pegs. Um, Eventually, uh, you know, like I was, I moved this one like one peg forward and another peg, uh, but it just became a little bit more difficult to get the hands and the arms like really uh, positioned correctly. Now, if I had like a little more time, um, I think I, I could probably get it, you know, down pack. Uh, but I really just wanted to go ahead and get um, the pose kind of like exactly how I wanted to, uh, but you can definitely move these pegs forward and however you want. Um, I, it's just a little bit difficult, I must warn you, the, uh, to get these hands uh, connected to the arm in the right position. So this is the best I had. Um, overall, I think it does look pretty good. Um, it's not, I don't think it's the strongest pose that you could pull off with this kit, uh, but I just remember, you know, he does use these uh, kind of like beam, it's like scatter shots. Uh, so if you are in interested in this pose, then hey, this is uh, exactly how you, you know, basically get it into that pose. So that's it for me guys, um, definitely thanks for watching. Uh, if you do like these pose videos, you know, comment below. Uh, if you like to see any kind of improvements over the videos, let me know about that as well. Uh, and as always, definitely give a like, comment, subscribe if you did enjoy this uh, video and the content I produce on this channel. And if you are excited to go ahead and see some future reviews or any other kind of uh, videos I might post in the future, ring that bell for all those future notifications. But that's it for me guys, definitely thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.